Hi there, Tom Ruggi, uh, CEO of Destiny Family Office, here today to talk about the artwork of Dick Perez. Uh, I have signed up to be a co-producer for an upcoming documentary featuring the, the lifetime and artwork of Dick Perez. And as a collector of his artwork for many years myself, uh, this is uh, definitely near and dear to the heart for me. Uh, I have 33 original Dick Perez pieces and the request of me has been to point out my three favorite uh, pieces of work. And very difficult to do when you have 33. And what I've ended up doing is I'm gonna, it, it's gonna be nine total pieces of work, but in, in three separate groups. Uh, and two groups uh, grouped together on purpose, and then the, the last one somewhat accidental, which I'll explain. So the first group I'm gonna talk about is a three-piece set called uh, Tinker's Ever Chance. And uh, these three Hall of Fame players that played in the early 1900s for the Chicago Cubs were actually made famous in a poem. And the poem, I don't, I don't know the entire story, but the poem was written by a Giants fan in the World Series. And uh, Joe Tinker was the shortstop, and they kept on pulling double play. So the ball would be hit to, to Joe Tinker. He'd toss it to the second baseman ever, who would turn around and throw it to the first baseman, Chance. And uh, so Tinker ever Chance is kind of a, a baseball lore. What's cool about these three prints to me is they originated from a, a collection from Barry Halper, who is probably the, uh, the, the most well-known sports memorabilia collector. And uh, this, these were originally in his personal collection. When he passed away, they were actually purchased by Penny Marshall of Laverne and Shirley fame. She was also a producer. And when uh, Penny passed away, they went to auction and I purchased them. So uh, they're re now residing in the third household since, uh, since inception. Second group is a group of two for me. It actually started as a group of four. Uh, the two that I have is Christy Mathewson and Walter Johnson. The two that I'm missing are Honus Wagner and Ty Cobb. These four came out to auction many, many years ago and I bid on all four but I only won one, uh, and, and frankly, I didn't have the financial wherewithal to pocket winning all four, and uh, to this day, I covet having all four. But I won the Christy Mathewson, hung up on the wall for quite a number of years, and then, uh, I don't know, four or five years ago, the Walter Johnson piece came up for auction, so I now have two of the four-piece set that uh, at one point were all together. So uh, that's my second group. My third group, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is, is, is an accidental group. This is actually probably my favorite painting that I have. This is of Albert Pujols, and you can see that it is boldly signed by Albert. If you look really closely into the clouds, you'll see a light signature of Joe Morgan on this painting. And the reason that is, is it was sent to have Albert Pujols sign it, and at the same time, at a different signing, I sent another piece to have Joe Morgan sign it, and they got flip-flopped. And so the, the Albert Pujols piece got sent to Joe Morgan, who for some odd reason, nobody felt the desire to pick up the phone and say, why are you having Joe Morgan sign with silver Sharpie in the clouds that you'll never see, sign this piece of work of Albert Pujols? But unfortunately, the group did not do that. Uh, I did ultimately get it signed by Albert, and then I'll walk over here and show you the piece that was supposed to be signed by Joe Morgan, which is actually a piece that is commemorating Tim Raines going into the Hall of Fame. You can see we have Tim Raines signed it, and you can also see where a silver sharpie of Joe Morgan would look wonderful on this piece of art. Unfortunately, it never made it to Joe Morgan, and also unfortunately, within a, a, a month or two of this being sent out, uh, Joe Morgan passed away. So um, I will never get uh, that signature on this piece of art, but in the clouds, you can barely see, uh, I do have jo Joe Morgan's signature on my Albert Pujols piece. Those are my favorite pieces. Uh, wonderful to share it with you and so happy to be involved with the documentary for Dick Perez. I'm sure we'll have more to come on this. Have a great day.